While of course, too much of anything can be poisonous, there are certain things in your food that don't really need to be there. Generations of humans before us have never consumed many of these things that we're about to mention. Maybe it's time we start questioning what the FDA deems as safe for consumption if they allow things like butane on chicken nuggets and carbon monoxide in meat packaging. Here are the most toxic substances found in food. But first, in our most terrifying deep sea creatures video, we asked you guys if you would consider eating one of those giant isopods, and SDS4800 left us this response. Yeah, I guess it does kind of look like a lobster, and maybe it would taste good, but don't put any of these substances on it to make it taste better. Number 11. Propylene Glycol Okay, so you're going to a fast food restaurant, and you tell yourself that you're going to keep it healthy and order a salad. This might not be the best option either. They don't always tell you right away that they're putting an unwanted dressing on your salad that may contain propylene glycol, which is the ingredient found in antifreeze. Fast food industries most commonly put this on lettuce to keep things fresh, according to Robin O'Brien. Small amounts are sprinkled onto your salad, and health officials claim that it isn't enough to harm anyone severely. But that doesn't mean it's really not harmless, does it? Some even think that pregnant women consuming small traces of this chemical could result in possible birth defects. Due to its naturally sweet taste, it's sometimes used in soft drinks, frosting, and a dose strengthener. Number 10. Potassium Bromate Classified as a Category 2B carcinogen, this substance has been banned in the European Union, Canada, Argentina, Brazil, India, and even China. But why is it still allowed in the US? Great question! Potassium bromate is added to flour in order to make the bread and the dough stronger, allowing for a higher rising. Despite the FDA knowing that it was a carcinogen, they allowed for its use, but urged bakers to kindly stop using it. In experiments, it showed nephrotoxic effects in both humans and mice. This means that it can cause severe kidney damage. Number 9. Artificial Bread You might complain to your sandwich artist if you come across a hair in your sandwich, but don't get startled. The bread we eat can contain the same thing. Human hair can actually be cut up into small pieces and used as a filler in some places. The L-cysteine amino acid which is found in human hair and duck feathers can be commonly found in bagels, cakes, and various types of bread. Subway even had to deal with a little bit of heat when people found out that there were similar chemicals found in yoga mats inside their bread, much to the dismay of the franchise. The ingredient, which is hard to pronounce, azodicarbonamide, is found in 500 different food products, including Little Debbie's Honey Buns, Hot Dogs, Pillsbury Toaster Strudels, and various biscuits made by Jimmy Dean. It's basically used as a chemical foaming agent mixed into plastic materials. Some bread, even labeled 100% whole wheat, contains this artificial ingredient as well, but somehow Subway got most of the flack for it. Many are outraged by the FDA to allow this into our food, since it isn't food at all and could cause harm down the line. Subway vowed to change their bread immediately despite disputing the claims. Number 8. Carrageenan Although this isn't really considered to be dangerous, you might find it rather strange that seaweed will make it into your diet somehow more often than you think. It's widely used in the dairy and meat industry and it's basically like a vegan version of gelatin. Since 600 BC, the Chinese used to create carrageenan using cloth as a filter. Nowadays, it goes through an intense modernized factory to be produced. You might find it in everyday foods such as ice cream, yogurt, cottage cheese, soy milk, and other food. It's mainly found in US products, while the EU has banned it again. The FDA still considers it not to be unhealthy, but independent researchers would still like to prove otherwise. They claim that it easily causes inflammation and decreased glucose tolerance, leading to diabetes. Even if there are just a few doubts about the safety, why is it being found in baby formula? Many people who live an organic lifestyle will try to cut this out of their food. Number 7. Smoke Flavor You might get a burger from a fast food restaurant and think, hey, this isn't so bad, it tastes like it came just off a flame grill. Well, we got some news for you. The flame grill flavor is actually fake. The smoky flavor comes from something they add to the meat called natural smoke flavor, and it comes from Red Arrow Products Company. Basically, what they do here to get the authentic taste is they burn wood and capture the flavor of the smoke in the water, bottle the water, and sell it. Many places like Burger King and Wendy's are big buyers of this stuff. Many people out there are weary of this liquid and believe it could contain carcinogens from the smoke. It generally isn't in high enough doses to be harmful, but just keep in mind that this stuff isn't real. Number 6. MSG MSG stands for monosodium glutamate and it's something you should try to avoid if you want to remain healthy. 
It's used as a flavor enhancer in foods such as Chinese food and KFC to name a few. For quite some time, people would wonder why they tended to get sick so often after eating Chinese food, and the MSGs finally seemed to give us the answer. While the US Food and Drug Administration would tell you that it's generally recognized as safe, many people would say otherwise, and it's a little bit tricky to know when you're eating it. It's often labeled as vegetable protein, yeast extract, soy extract, and protein isolate. They're made from fermenting various starches. In high doses, it has similar effects to a neurotoxin and can cause brain swelling. Companies aren't typically going to let you know when it's in your food, so in order for you to know when you're eating it, you're going to have to check out the ingredients labels. A medical doctor by the name of Michael Gallitzer stated that it's probably one of the most unhealthy and harmful substances that one can eat. Overconsumption of MSG can lead to a leaky gut, cause bloating, gas, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Number 5. Sodium Benzoate and Benzoic Acid Widely used in preservatives, sodium benzoate might be found in things such as dairy products like cheese, milk, yogurt, and other things that are seemingly healthy like fruit juices, jams, and pickles. Classified as safe to humans, it's not quite as safe to animals which have made people wonder if it's actually safe at all. Animals such as cats have a very low tolerance to sodium benzoate, but apparently humans, mice, and rats can handle higher doses of it. However, if it's combined with different artificial coloring in food, a study suggested that it could be linked to hyperactivity behavior. Maybe this is one of the reasons why kids have attention deficit disorder? Number 4. Butane and Chicken Nuggets Be sure you're careful next time you use a match around your chicken nuggets, because they could certainly catch on fire. Butane, typically used as lighter fluid, can also sneak its way into your food as well. As you can imagine, this stuff isn't healthy, and becoming spontaneously combustible is never healthy for anyone. In reality though, it's used as an artificial antioxidant that helps preserve food's original taste. Companies like McDonald's have stopped using this ingredient in their nuggets due to some backlash, but it could certainly still be found in things such as frozen nuggets you cook at home. It could also be in crackers, chips, cereals, and your favorite candy bars and other junk food. The FDA claims that butane is okay as long as there's no more than 0.02% of the oil used in the food. Number 3. Aspartame You might think you're benefiting from drinking a Diet Coke, but you better watch out for this next toxic substance found in many foods. Possibly considered to be the most harmful of toxins found on the ingredients label, aspartame is about 200 times as sweet as table sugar. It's made up of phenylalanine, aspartic acid, and methanol. Since it's so sweet, very little of it is used in over 600 products and it's the most consumed artificial sweetener. Despite the FDA giving it the thumbs up, aspartame had the opposite effect of what a Diet Coke is intended to do. Not only is it linked to increased weight gain, but also with migraines, seizures, and depression. There are over 900 reported studies that indicate the harmful effect that this stuff is capable of. During some experiments, people who ate the maximum dose of artificial sweetener per day experienced high blood sugar and a change in their stomach bacteria. The strange history of this substance takes a while to go into, but the original company that had the patent of the sweetener was purchased by the notorious GMO conglomerate Monsanto, so watch out. Number 2. Aluminum Aluminum seems to be making its way into our food somehow, and while it may be useful for manufacturing airplanes, it's not so useful in our bellies. While small doses of this metal go relatively unnoticed, after a long time it starts to build up in our bodies and start to cause problems. Prolonged exposure can affect the body's musculoskeletal system, causing problems with the brain, bones, cause dementia, and even seizures. The recent studies on aluminum are making me wonder if it's even worth it wrapping up our potatoes in aluminum foil anymore. Pickles are another food that's hiding this element and it's used in the pickling process. Number 1. Acrylamide. What if we were to tell you that Pringles weren't actually potato chips at all? In fact, did you know that Pringles aren't even made from potatoes at all? They're made from rice, corn, and wheat. While most chips are made from cutting potatoes into thin slices and then deep frying them, Pringles are a whole nother story. They take non-potato ingredients and then turn them into a dough, which is then cut into the shapes and then pressed into a mold that we're all familiar with. Pringles are then moved through a mysterious oil that are deep fried and flavored. The process requires very high tech machinery that has to be custom built just for Pringles. Any nutritional value whatsoever completely is destroyed and there's even now a chemical called acrylamide. This substance is considered to be a probable human carcinogen and in large enough doses it can act as a neurotoxin which basically means you should probably try to avoid it. 
So which one did you think was the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section, and we'll see you next time.